Fox 40 News in the morning starts now. Plus, what do lettuce, spanks, and bubbles have in common? <laughs> We're going to talk about that coming up. It all has to do with loving your body. We've got an interesting two lists that break it all down for you. Make sure you stick around. Where we're talking New Year's resolutions as we enter this first week of 2020. We're talking about how to love yourself. And with us right now, we have Patty Alfonso. She is the body whisperer. And of course, so many of our resolutions have to do with our body. And so, Patty, first of all, what does that mean? <laughs> you know, our, our bodies are continuously communicating with us all of the time. And I just happen to have the superpower that I can hear them. <laughs> you hear mine saying sleep. We're sleeping. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, so you've broken this down for us in terms of things to avoid when we make resolutions and things we do want to do. And these all have to do with the, the way we can love our body. So what should we avoid when we make resolutions to love our body? Yes, the first mistake you want to avoid if you want to love your body is forcing yourself to work out. Look, if you don't like dumbbells and you don't like going to the gym, then find some other way to move your body. Okay. The next mistake you want to avoid if you want to love your body is forcing yourself to eat salad. If you don't like eating like a rabbit, then why do it? You can always juice your veggies. Okay. And the next mistake to avoid uh -oh. if you want to love your body <laughs> <laughs> is comes. wearing uncomfortable things. Look, Spanx has made a fortune making women feel uncomfortable but in their body. Them look good. Well, you can <laughs> look good and be comfortable. And if you're comfortable in every moment with your body, then you naturally look good. It comes from the inside, not okay. always from the outside. Not that anyone around here is wearing any Spanx. All no, right, moving no, no. right along. <laughs> All right, what's next? The next thing is buying cheap things. Uh -huh. Look, our bodies are made for luxury. And if you're buying cheap shoes, cheap shampoo, cheap pants, then it may be a reason why you don't love okay. your body. But easier said than done. What if you can't afford the luxury that's going to make you look good? It can be really, really simple. Like I said, as simple as investing in really yummy shampoo for your hair or investing in a good pair of pants that make you feel good. Look, touch touch my pants. Ooh, Aren't they delicious? Nice, Aren't nice, they nice. awesome? Yeah. yeah. And they, they weren't expensive, but when I wear them, I feel good about myself. Got it. So good quality things. All right. So switching to the other yes. side of the list, what are the things we can do to love our body? Now that you know the mistakes to avoid, mm -hmm. let's check out how to love your body. <laughs> okay. B is for break old patterns. And we're going to do a shaking exercise. You ready? So we're just going to shake our body. Just mm. get a nice little bounce. <laughs> this okay. shaking actually induces the parasympathetic <laughs> Pathetic nerve response system. <laughs> Not weird at all. Nope. And nope. all that is is that me, that you get to relax. And okay. when you relax, you release tension, you break old patterns, and it just feels really good. All right, what's next? Oh open your senses. You want to activate mm. all of the senses of your body. Speaking I love of you the finer thing, things. <laughs> my favorite perfume. <sighs> oh. And it just opens up your senses. And you want to do that with your sight, your smell, your touch, your taste, and your hearing. I love you were saying even earlier, you can even just looking looking at pretty things. That yes. Can activate yes. The your things sight. that really just bring you joy. Okay. Speaking, Speaking of joy, <laughs> D is for fun. You want to do things that make you laugh. And it can be as simple as blowing bubbles, playing some fun music. You want to bring joy into your life and include your body okay. in that. Okay, playing some games. And what is the last one? <laughs> Y is for you. You have to put yourself at the top of your to-do list. This is my to-do list. Look, I got a lot of stuff going on. At the top, a lavender bubble bath. Why? Because it's for me and it activates my senses. Fantastic. Thank you so much, <laughs> Patty. Alfonso, I know you've got something on your, your website. Tell yes. Tell us really quick, yes. very quickly. For more information, you can go to shakingexercise.com. This is a really simple exercise that you can do every morning to activate your body and love your body. All right, and got a little bit of a giveaway. Perfect so much. So, Richard, uh, <laughs> I don't know if you've got a lavender bubble bath or just any <laughs> regular bubbles in your future, but some good ways to get a little bit of joy and love your body. Cinnamon and orange for me. It's cinnamon and orange. <laughs> That's what I like. Lavender's nice, but cinnamon and orange. <laughs>